I took buffalo chicken, I made macaroni and cheese, I combined the two together. It's a freaking masterpiece. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese, y'all stay tuned. What's poppin' my YouTube fam? It feels like forever since I talked to you guys and showed you guys a new fun recipe. So, on the menu today, y'all, you see we have our boiling water going on because today we are making buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Easy, delicious, flavorful macaroni and cheese with some fried chicken on top, dousing some hot sauce. You cannot beat that with a baseball bat, Jack. So, here's my water. This is what, duh, I'm gonna be boiling my noodles in. I got some a stick of butter back there because I'm gonna make like a little butter sauce for the macaroni and cheese. I got my cast iron skillet right here, greased up, ready to go in the oven for the macaroni and cheese. I have me a nice, beautiful hunk of meat here, a hunk of chicken breast. We are going to get this nice and cleaned up. It's just soaking right now focus in nice little chicken breast we are gonna clean this up and cut this into cubes we are going to season it and then we're gonna deep fry it and then we're gonna coat it in some hot sauce on and pop it over here is all the cheese that I grabbed out of my refrigerator we are going to put all this cheese together and we are gonna make us a cheese sauce to go to milk so it's on and popping y'all so what I'm about to do um, like I said, is get this nice and cleaned up, y'all, and I'll be back to show you guys the next step. Stay tuned. All right, my YouTube fam, welcome back. So right here in the pot, I'm about to begin my cheese sauce. I have my um, whole milk in here and a stick of butter. So that's what's in there now, you guys. Um, what I'm going to do is season this um milk and butter with some simple salt and pepper i mix my if you've been watching me you know i like to mix my salt and pepper together it makes it easier see salt and pepper so i'm just gonna sprinkle some kosher salt and some coarse black pepper right there in my uh, milk and butter because i'm keeping the seasonings kind of at a minimal because I am about to season the chicken, then we're gonna fry that, then we're gonna coat that in a flavorful sauce, so we don't really need too much. So, the first cheese that I am gonna get in here and melt is going to be our Velveeta cheese. I have a big, nice hunk here. I'm just gonna break those in little pieces. Not two little pieces, but you know what I mean. I'm breaking it up so it can melt faster. So just like that and like that. So we have that and as you know, Velveeta, I love the way Velveeta melts down. It's gonna have it nice and creamy. And let me see, let me give this a nice good stir. Get my spoon over here. And so we are just gonna let this melt down. So once this um, Velveeta cheese starts to melt down a little bit. I am also going to incorporate some sharp cheddar cheese And I think I have over there some Mexican four cheese blend also because we are having some fun with this mac and cheese today This is gonna be so good and then y'all I'm so greedy because guess what we having with it We having buffalo chicken mac and cheese with fried chicken Wings don't judge me. It's all right. It's all good so I'm gonna let this melt down a little bit more and let me take you over here. Here is my noodles that are already nice and drained and here is my chunks of chicken breast right here. Already clean and I just diced them up or focus. I just um, cut them up into, I may even cut these chunks smaller y'all. Cause look, let me show y'all how big it is. See. I may cut these a little just down the middle one more time because I kind of want them a little smaller but um, what I'm gonna do is go in with some of my all-purpose seasoning I put that on everything here we go right here I have some in a nice big container so we are gonna season that nice and good with my delicious all-purpose seasoning we are gonna mix that up 
just like that just like that you don't need any other seasoning for this chicken I don't know why this camera keeps going out of focus I'm sorry y'all but yes look at that seasoned I'm even gonna add a little bit more because I want this to be some really flavorful flavorful chicken in that mac and cheese so let's get that nice and mixed up just like that show y'all now just like that so what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna take my kitchen shears you guys and like I said I'm gonna cut um, all these big chunks in half one more time and then what we're gonna do is coat them in some flour and we are going to dump them in some beautiful grease fry it up nice and good we got our cheese melting over there we rocking and rolling y'all so I will be back to show you guys my next step peace all right YouTube fam so <clears throat> excuse me what I went ahead and did is dumped in some Italian cheese blend um cheese some sharp cheddar cheese some mozzarella cheese some Mexican four blend cheese listen we going all out today look at all that all that nice cheese in there that sauce is gonna get nice and thick so just mix that up and don't forget we got the uh the Velveeta in there also we got the Velveeta up in there chilling so we're gonna let that all get melted down and also what I'm gonna do because you know you guys know I like to see my um, black pepper in my food um, so I'm gonna go in with some a little bit of no salt this is just regular black pepper okay and I'm also gonna go in for more color with some parsley flakes let me open up the big side a little bit of parsley make our food look pretty and we're also going to go in with a little bit of chopped chives give it a little edge and some more color just like that boom let's give that a stir and you can feel free to add um, whatever you want to your cheese sauce uh, whatever seasoning you want to add some garlic powder you want to you know what I'm saying whatever you want to do like I said I kept it light with the cheese um, sauce because our um, chicken is seasoned to perfection so look at that that's getting so nice and thick I don't even know if y'all could even tell getting nice and thick so now I think my grease is nice and hot over here so what I'm gonna do is coat this chicken in flour and I'm gonna drop those bad boys and I'll be back y'all okay fam let's drop our beautiful seasoned and coated chicken in that is what our little chicken bites are looking like. They smell so good, y'all, and they're not even fried yet. Let's drop those in the grease. Get those nice and fried up. Hope everyone is doing spectacular. Thank you so much for tuning in again to one of my videos. Uh, you guys are just amazing. I have gained so many subscribers in like the last 30 days. I'm just like so flattered. I hope you guys are enjoying. And remember, if it's anything that you want to see, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments. Anything you want to see, anything you want me to cook, anything you want me to do. Um, cooking wise, I'm so down for it. I'm having so much fun on this YouTube journey. It is just, I'm having like a blast, y'all. I'm having a blast sharing these uh, recipe ideas with y'all and just cooking for y'all. So fun. So I appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit the subscribe button and everybody hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload a lit video. What? Yes. So. Our little chicken nuggets are in in kids don't try this at home look how close I am playing with the grease playing with the hot grease so our chicken is in we are rocking and rolling we are gonna let this get nice and crispy so I'm probably going to fry the chicken they're little small nuggets I'm gonna say probably somewhere in between eight to ten minutes because I like to make sure my stuff is super super duper done 
So probably anywhere between 8 to 10 minutes, you can take these bad boys out. They're going to be golden brown. They're going to start floating to the top. It's just going to be great. We got our cheese sauce in the cut, just waiting. Still bubbling on the sides, nice and cheesy. It's about to go down. Stay tuned. All right, my YouTube fam, welcome back. So, now it is time to make our buffalo sauce which is nothing to it but to do it like it's really nothing to it uh the main key major key with with buffalo stuff buffalo wings is frank's red hot you know what i'm saying if you ain't got frank's red hot don't even try to make no buffalo wings or no sauce so look we going in with some sauce boom just like that that was like one tablespoon of butter and that was maybe about a uh, half a cup maybe a little over a half a cup of Frank's red hot easy all the flavor is already in the Frank's red hot sauce y'all super easy um we are also going to sprinkle in a little bit of granulated garlic I just like that and we are also going to sprinkle in a tad bit of granulated onion Just like that and we are also going to sprinkle in a little smidget of lemon pepper just a smidge just like that now we are going to give it a nice stir bring that all together just like this really don't take much for I mean you can even some people don't even add butter it, it just be Frank's red hot like that's all you need you know you don't even need to add butter so I'm gonna turn my fire up a little bit I'm also going to reach up here and we are going to sprinkle in a little sprinkle of brown sugar Two little sprinkles of a dash. Two little sprinkles of a dash. Sprinkles of a dash. You see how that's coming up to a nice little boil. Stir that on in just like that. All right, all right. Easy peasy. Right, right. Check me out. Now, because I just love it and it's gonna make it taste good. A smidget, hold on. When I say a smidget, a smidget of minced garlic, y'all. Smidge, smidget, y'all. Take it, stir it around. Love the smell of some Frank's Red Hot. Okay, now, 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 now. Look at our beautiful, look at our beautiful golden fried chicken pieces, y'all. Look at Golden brown, beautiful. Take that, and I did them like extra crispy because the cheese from the macaroni and the sauce is just going to um, make them um, take the crunch away anyways. What am I trying to say? You want to do them extra crispy so they'll still have a slight crunch on it when all this uh, moisture or wetness hits it. If that made any kind of sense. Mmm. It's all good. Okay. Now, take that. My oven is already preheated on 350. Okay. Culture chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See that's why I fried them extra crispy because they go soggy up or soften up when they hit this too. When they hit this uh Frank's red hot. So get that nice and incorporated. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Look at that. So now, turn your fire off. Let your chicken just chill. Let it chill. Don't even bother it. What we about to do, y'all, 
is uh, put this macaroni up in this pan, get that in the oven, and then I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. Just wait. I'm going to show y'all. I'm excited. Okay, my YouTube fam. So my macaroni and cheese has been in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. Maybe about 20, not even 25 minutes. So now what you want to do is take your nice, and you see how the um, buffalo sauce coated those uh, fried chicken pieces you see how it's nice and coated that's what I want so why didn't we so now what we're about to do let me do this first we're just about to nestle our buffalo chicken pieces in all in our macaroni and cheese all around it so why didn't we bake these fried chicken pieces in with our macaroni and cheese to begin with number one we just don't want them to get soggy as heck. And number two, we kind of want them to keep our um, keep their crunch. We want them to keep their crunch. And then when your family or your guests or whatever um, digs into it, everybody could just, you know, they could see where they're scooping. They could grab like two or three pieces of chicken. It's just bomb. So I'm just going to nestle these in all around our macaroni and cheese i didn't listen y'all i didn't eat half of the daggone uh chicken pieces just popping them i had to walk away from them y'all because they so good the chicken by itself is so good so we're gonna nestle those in and i love that's exactly what i wanted um like i said i wanted to um I wanted that hot wing sauce to get nice and uh, thick on the chicken. So make sure I'm getting every little corner. If you are on a diet, don't try this. Of course, don't try this. Okay, put our pot in the sink. So now what we are about to do is add on some more cheese you guys okay just a little we're gonna add in some more um, sharp cheddar right on the top okay right on the top just like that boom and we are also going to add in some Italian cheese blend, which is that cheese that has the mozzarella, the provolone, the parmesan, the asiago, the romano, and the fontina, okay? Flavor, flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor. Okay, add it to them ends. Ends get nice and crusty, just like that. We are also going to sprinkle on some more color. Just a little bit just like that and now you guys we are going to put this back in the oven for about five minutes just until that cheese gets nice and golden brown at the top and all ooey gooey delicious looking so y'all I will be back to show you guys the finished result stay tuned okie dokie my YouTube fam here it is Buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Cheesy is all get out. Delicious. You have all that cheese. You have the heat from the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. You have the crispy fried chicken bits on top. Came out so good. So good. Hope you all enjoyed this recipe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It is still so hot, you guys. I want to cut in it for y'all, but I was trying to wait till it, forget it. I was trying to wait till it cooled down, but oh my goodness, that crispy. See, when it cools down, it's going to get even more. Let me see if I can do this with one hand, y'all. 
Oh my gosh. This is just, oh yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, y'all. <gasps> y'all. Y'all, get into it. Take your bite. Here you go. Stop playing. Go ahead now. Come on. What you waiting for? There you go. There you go. As always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. I'll see you guys in the next video.